Is yield farming any different from staking? Crypto can be confusing sometimes, and understandably so, as it's a technical industry with a million buzzwords. And to be honest, some of them are quite ambiguous, with overlapping meanings. Today's focus will be on yield farming and staking. Let's see how they differ. Yield farming is pretty self-explanatory. It basically describes the act of investors trying to maximize their returns, or yield in DeFi, by putting their assets to work on different protocols. For example, yield farmers can deposit assets into DEXs like Uniswap, or lending platforms like Aave to help facilitate trades and loans, and in return, they are rewarded with a portion of the platform's fee or interest paid by borrowers. Staking, on the other hand, involves locking up a crypto asset to participate in a proof-of-stake blockchain security system in exchange for rewards. From an investor's point of view, it might seem that both staking and yield farming serve the same purpose. That is, to commit crypto assets and receive rewards. However, the two are distinct in some ways. Let's highlight some of them, starting with utility. As mentioned, staking serves security purposes for proof-of-stake blockchains like Ethereum, helping decentralize and strengthen the network. On the other hand, yield farmers typically deposit crypto into liquidity pools of DeFi protocols, which enable them to offer services such as lending, borrowing, swapping, or leverage trading. Yield farming also differs from staking in terms of lockup periods. In yield farming, when you deposit your tokens to DeFi platforms, you can usually withdraw them instantly. POS staking, on the other hand, typically has an unstaking period, usually a few days or weeks, though there are some exceptions to this. What about risk? Contrary to all the people out there parroting 100% safe passive income strategies, both yield farmers and stakers are exposed to some, albeit different, levels of risk. While POS staking is considered safer than yield farming, stakers still face risks, such as slashing if validators are penalized for errors like downtime or malicious activity, or financial losses incurred for not being able to sell your crypto during the unlocking period. Yield farmers, on the other hand, are much more exposed to risks like impermanent loss, smart contract bugs and exploits, rug pools, and other types of scams, as strategies often involve leverage and interacting with many DeFi protocols, some of them brand new. And of course, both staking and yield farming can incur losses for users, in dollar terms at least, if the market turns bearish. We've talked about risks, what about rewards? Generally, yield farming offers higher yields compared to the more conservative yields from staking, which usually has APYs in the single digits, though of course with higher risk and more complex strategies. Remember how we said some terms are ambiguous and have overlapping definitions? Staking happens to be one of them, and you can see how it is used to mean different things in this video here.